Welcome back. So starting out the week, Dan is continuing to work on systems and here you can see he's actually pulling through uh, the heater lines uh, for the heater core in the front and also one of the uh, lines for the AC system. And they're going through the kill. And I'm working on making some improvements uh, to the door seals there so we can get the pressurization up to hopefully five and a half. So here we are doing another run uh, in between everything else that's going on. And uh, just to see if we can get further. So what's happening is um, the door's moving, or the actually door frame's expanding, so I got a little gauge in there, and you'll see here in a second, I'll show you this video in sped up um, mode so you can see how much that door frame is moving, and um, there you go, so you see it basically moves almost 30 thousandths of an inch there, and so with that moving, um, the ultimately the seals the door seals end up having a larger space and they ultimately sort of um, crack and they lose pressure and leak you know leak air by but anyway here you can see we're up to four and a half now so uh, last week we had made it to 4.3 so here we're up to four five six so we're still making progress uh, but you know ultimately we get a little bit higher a little bit higher each time and then the door seals um, blow out and so what I've been doing is uh, kind of building up what's underneath the seals um, in order to get further and as you can see we are making progress so here 484 and um, what I'm and probably going to end up having to do is do some build ups on that front door frame because that's the one where it's kind of opening up the most if we want to really be able to get five and a half and meanwhile uh, Jeff and Devin are working on uh, just trimming off the rest of these skins for the wings just because um, you know, they were rough cut to shape but now the edges need to be trimmed accurately uh, before they can start bonding uh, the bits and pieces together for the wings so uh, they've got a bit of work to do and of course all the um, areas that are smooth need to be roughed up as well for bonding as well on the inside and on the ribs mainly and uh, this is that uh, armrest thing so I was taking that to the upholsterer but before I did that I had to put a hard point in there with some threaded things for where the hinge is going to be but you'll see more on that um, in a future episode and now we're on to Tuesday morning uh, today and we're having another go at uh, bringing the pressurization up and what's actually happening is I've what I've done now is I've actually taped um, put this double sided tape in underneath where the seals are um, in the places where the gap is opening up so basically and I put layers in there so to build it up a little bit and uh, it's actually working we're getting closer but ultimately as I said before we're going to have to probably figure out how thick it needs to be but then do a door, uh, build up on the door frame so the seals are just tighter along that front edge because that's where the problem is but as you can see we hit 5 psi there so that's uh, half we've got a half a psi to go to our goal now and meanwhile Dan's uh, working on the back now so he's plumbing in the lines there for fuel uh, those ones run through to the header tank and then they'll be back here to the fuel filter and fuel pump and then ultimately on to uh, the engine so uh, he's making good progress back there. And Devin and Jeff are getting things done with uh, trimming all these different wing surfaces. So that's one of the uh, winglet uh, inside skins there and that one's all been trimmed back to the final lines. And this one's out on the bench there and uh, the tape there is where it needs to be trimmed back to. Just taking a tiny little bit off there uh, but you know you've got to get it accurate. And uh, here's Dan, he's actually bonding in these um, braces there that shore up the engine mount um, in conjunction with the firewall so now that those are bonded in the next step is to bond the firewall on and at the very end of today uh, I had things set up so we could have another go and see where we could get to with this pressurization I just built up a few more layers um, or a couple more layers of this um, you know double sided tape in the areas where the seal sort of rolled the previous time and as you can see we've broken five again and uh, moving on up so but uh, just sort of sitting there waiting for the seals to pop and uh, as you can see here in a second it will happen <laughs> but we're getting pretty close so ultimately once I know exactly how much build up we need I can actually just do that layup and then uh, we can actually you know gl properly uh, glue the seals to the door frame and then we won't have this problem of them rolling or, or sort of getting blow by on them but uh, as you can see there, 5.17 getting up there. And there's 5.2, so I guess 5.21 is the maximum. And then the seals kind of blow out, and then of course you start to lose pressure and it goes down a little bit. 
Anyway, so we've got 0.3 of a PSI to go to hit our goal. I think we'll get there probably tomorrow. So that's our update for the first half of this week. And um, thanks again for watching. And tune in, in again on Saturday and uh, see where we get to with pressurization. And we may even be getting close to uh, um, being ready to hang the engine. But that will probably be next week.